Hello aspirants, today let us see what is EWS or economically weaker section. In 2019, a constitution amendment was passed that is 103 which gave 10% quota to EWS category to insert two articles that is article 16 part 6 and article 15 part 6 that relates to employment and education. So who comes under EWS or what is the recommendation by Sino Commission? Sino Commission recommended the EWS categorization for different central and state governments and they also accepted that. A person having family income of less than 8 lakhs per annum comes under EWS. A person not having five, 5 acres of agricultural land also comes under EWS and also a person having 1000 square feet of residential flat doesn't come under EWS category and also person having 100 square feet in municipalities and for other years 200 square feet residential plot in his name or her name doesn't come under EWS category. So recently in 2022 a one case was held in Supreme Court by the name of Janhit Abhiyan versus Union of India case 2022 in which Supreme Court held two points that is EWS can also get a quota in private institutions where they can get the benefit of admission and one more thing that it defined was that 50% ceiling which was given in 1992 Indra Sani case the famous case cannot be a ceiling always or it is it is volatile it can be it can change so these were the EWS quotas special features which you need to know for different examinations I hope you have liked it so kindly subscribe and like to get this kind of video which will benefit you in your examinations and your of course your common sense thank you